Well, Adnan, it seems that this is going to take some time. The Ministry of Defence says the delivery will continue this week. Now, we've heard earlier from Turkish President say that the process will be complete by April next year. There is a bit of ambiguity whether um, that means that the delivery would probably be going on until April and then the installation will take place right after that, or whether the delivery would be complete possibly earlier. That is not entirely clear. We've talked to the Defence Ministry and they're saying that they cannot share those details at this point in time, but they're saying that everything is on schedule. Delivery will continue into this week as well. What are the security threats that Turkey faces uh, for which the S-400 might be useful? Well, Ankara is saying that uh, there are multidimensional security threats emanating from state as well as non-state actors. Uh, you know, if you talk to Turkish officials, they say that uh, if you look at the region where Turkey is placed, it is a very unstable region and there have been threats from all sides. Um, seven bordering countries, there are threats, possible threats from the, from the south, from the Syria side. Uh, you look towards Iraq from Iranian side, as well as there has been tension in the eastern Mediterranean. Now, Turkish officials obviously are saying that they're not preparing for war. This is uh, primarily deterrence. And, of course, um, there have been attacks carried out by non-state actors such as uh, Daesh and the YPG. So it's quite a multidimensional threat, Adnan.